All right, everybody, what's good? So Scott here. I just wrapped a video on how to set a static IP, and it brought up the issue that if you set a static IP, you need to tell your router about it. That way your router doesn't give that IP address to someone else, and then you have an IP conflict. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, my router is a TP-Link Archer C7, which is a super popular router, but maybe you got Netgear or Linksys or like whoever else. Um, it's going to be a little different. It's going to be similar, but a little bit different. But I think this can still help you. So first thing you need to do is log into your router, okay? So you got to know the IP address of your router. If you don't know the IP address of your router, open a command prompt by typing CMD and type IP config. Okay, your default gateway right here. More than likely, that's it. So that's mine. I already knew that, though. All right, log in real quick. Let's see if I remember. Not cool. All right, so here I am. Now, what I want to do is come down here to DHCP. Okay. Okay, now here's my range. Okay. See start IP address ends in dot 100 and end IP address to 199 so it's it's only those ip addresses between 100 and 199 that the router is going to hand out automatically everything else is available to be a static ip okay so if i want to if i want to give my computer static ip ideally i would use one um before 100 or after 199 so you could do anything from like well, in theory, 1 to 99, although 1 is already being used for my router. Um, and uh, Or from 200 to 254. Um, and, but that's, that, sorry, that's your DHCP scope. If you want to set, like actually tell the router about this static IP, it's called a reservation. Okay, see right here, address reservation. Okay, you want to add new. Now it needs two bits of information, the IP address and the MAC address, which is a, the MAC address is a unique um, alphanumeric um, address that um, only your device has in the whole world, okay? And in this case, the way you're gonna find it, one way you can find it, type ncpa.cpl. Find your network adapter, which for me is my wireless one. Just double click it. And then come here to details. Okay. You see this right here, physical address? That's the MAC address. Okay. Um, sometimes called MAC or physical, but it's, it's all the same thing. Okay. So what I would do is I'd take that address and I punched in right here at MAC address. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do it real quick just so, uh, just so you can see like the live, the full version on how to do this. Okay. You know, some real hands-on because that's how that's how real people learn, right? So 4C34. 4C. Now, I'll tell you what. It might not want dashes. It might want colons. Or it might not want anything. And we'll find out here pretty quick. 88. Uh, it's actually kind of a crazy thing when you're inputting MAC addresses. Like every interface kind of wants them differently. And then A196. All right. So I'm going to add that, save it. All right. I'd have to reboot my router. Okay, so see that? So what I could do is if I, if I told Windows on this computer to um, to make its static IP, or sorry, its IP static to this address, and now that I've told the router, this router will not give this IP address to anyone else, okay? And that's what I want to do. But honestly, an easier way is just give an IP address outside of the scope, okay? If you want to see all the different devices that are on my network right now, here they are. I got a pretty simple network. Look at their IP addresses here. You notice that they're all between 100 and 199. That's because they're all DHCP. My wife's phone, my desktop, my phone, my Apple TV, my Sonos, my laptop, the iPad, all that stuff, right? So that's how you that's how you set a uh, a DHCP 
or like a, sorry, an, an IP reservation or an address reservation, however you want to call it. That's how you would do it with TP-Link. It is going to be very similar on any other company. You just have to get to know the interface and then you're golden. That's how you do it.